Hi guys and welcome to thrustzone.com. This is Mohit Soni. We have another Kia Seltos with us. This is the diesel IMT that we're driving. Uh, it's part of the road test where we'll let you know as uh, you know which variant that you're driving and how many uh, which uh, which variant suits you best and what fuel suits you best. So we're making sure that we get to drive uh, as many variants as possible. This time Kia has sent us the car with the same color, but uh, they've also added. Uh, accessories to this car on the inside and outside so let's quickly jump into that because i'm done with the detailing of the exterior to a very large extent multiple times already so there's a chrome strip here there's a chrome strip here and uh, at the front you can see uh, the fog lamps also have chrome right there side profile you can see there's a chrome strip on the door chrome strip on uh, the wheel arches you have uh, you can see the same here as well these chrome door protectors are here the chrome uh, uh, lining all over uh, the uh, tail lamps can be seen here and uh, needless to say these Seltos branded floorboards are also on offer you've got a chrome line here you've got these pointless door visors here which don't really do anything to your car the water will seep in nobody keeps their windows open anymore during the rain and it doesn't really prevent any water it in fact ruins the aerodynamics to a very large extent uh, that is why i never recommend uh, you guys getting that this is finally a press car that has come to me after almost a decade with those and i can finally tell you that they are not worth it uh, you've got the piano black finish here chrome strip here as well uh, a chrome strip here and these are actually quite good uh, these mats look really nice but as you can see uh, these need to be stuck a bit more properly I think this is done at the uh, dealer level uh, which is sort of uh, not really doing that well you've got uh, Seltos branded pillows this very impressive uh, storage kit that you can hang behind the seat you've got sun shades on offer and uh, this is the back to keep all of that this sort of looks nice but still it's going to be tacky to a certain amount of people let's get inside the same mats can be visible here and here of course it looks it gives it a very rich look uh, you've got these uh, perforated seats leather uh, with this design here this coffee color also looks quite nice uh, which is of course carried over from before three pointed seat belts three seat uh, three headrests separately are on offer you get these uh, sun blinds here as well uh, which is also part of the accessory package the, the mats can be seen here as well the Seltos badging is here on offer uh, everything else remains the same and which is obviously brand new uh, because the facelift has just been launched a couple of months ago you get these cup holders here with this branding which is sort of removable and not very sticky uh, uh, the quintessential uh, uh, air purifier is here good amount of space is here and nothing really has changed at the front when it comes to things uh, the sunroof is here on offer and uh, yeah that's what the car is all about on the inside and outside you get tons of features but still don't get wireless carplay or android auto and uh, the bose sound system is here to make things better ac works quite well cooling seats are on offer yeah, uh, you already know what this car is all about. I've told you a couple of times. Let's now jump into the driving part. So what is the Kia Seltos diesel IMT like to drive? Well, we've been trying very hard to get our hands on this variant and Kia has been kind enough to send us one unit on this. The diesel IMT after driving the petrol turbo IMT long time ago. And uh, I've also reviewed the diesel automatic uh, for the first drive. What I can tell you about the diesel IMT is that uh, it, it, it shares the same problem. Uh, with uh, the IMTs that we've seen in the past in Hyundai Kia uh, cars both is that uh, at times the clutch doesn't engage disengage when you really need it and uh, when it, it, realize that it realizes that you need that so it will do it in a hurry so that slip uh, you know you can feel that slip most of the time while driving hard and fast but as always if you drive it very normally slightly above pace uh, you know even slightly above pace uh, then it is not a problem it's only when you're really driving hard and fast and trying to reach somewhere and uh, you know that's when you realize that uh, you know uh, the slip uh, does happen the clutch doesn't engage when you really want it to be but most of the time when you're in traffic commuting on a daily basis and when you're dri not driving enthusiastically or spiritedly on the highway you'll realize the absolute ease of use and the control that you get from an IMT and that is really impressive a lot of people don't like the IMT I don't know why because they're just unable to fathom change but the IMT is actually quite good you're in control over the torque 
panned over the gears over how you want the car to accelerate and when even if you're a keen driver stuck in traffic you know what what you want and when you can do that without the hassle of a heavy clutch or even if a light clutch uh, uh, is on offer it gets very tiring after an hour so that's where the IMT kicks in that's where it gives you control and ease of use at the same time while driving in the twisties also you get a lot of control you get that old school feedback of course manuals are not gone entirely from small cars and in fact the Kia, Kia Seltos diesel manuals have made a big bad return as well last week so they are there I don't know why uh, maybe the IMT uh, might go away I don't know but I certainly think there are IMT fans out there who will really appreciate what is on offer with this car at the same time uh, IMT's another downside is that the fuel efficiency isn't that impressive while we've been getting spectacular fuel efficiency uh, on the highway the city numbers are a little bit low let's say between 12 and 13 we expect 15 16 for a car that just makes 115 ps and 260 250 newton meters should deliver a bit more on the highway it's been giving us 18 to 19 kilometers per liter and something that i think could have been better as well but i'm happy with the numbers because uh, 18 to 19 getting in the diesel bs6 phase 2 version with the ad blue which uh, bs6 first of all reduces your fuel efficiency then the ad blue in also slot of uh, you know the tuning and everything make sure that the fuel efficiency drops in the interest of refinement and power delivery so it's because of that the fuel efficiency has gone down in the imt's inherent nature to deliver slightly less fuel efficiency uh, also uh, is a bit of a problem but the overall numbers are still quite high you get almost 1000 kilometers of range from the tank which is quite impressive you don't get with the turbo petrols uh, the fuel efficiency goes in half so that's why when i tell you the fuel efficiency is low but not uh, you know poor uh, that's the big difference with the same fuel to full fuel tank 1000 kilometers versus 500 kilometers tells you how much the difference is in fuel efficiency and the diesel still is fantastic uh, you can get 600 700 out of the turbo petrol but you will have to be a monk to get uh, that out of the uh, turbo petrol car especially the 1 1.5 160 ps uh you know 260 newton meter torque uh, uh, hyundai kia units and uh, yeah that's what the car is all about you, uh, the braking is quite good the steering still remains uh you know does isn't feedback rich but it gets heavier when you want it uh it provides decent feedback there is good precision on offer but of course not the enthusiast steering that we're looking for or uh, in fact the most enthusiast car in this segment also doesn't have a great steering so that's the industry problem right now um apart from that uh great ride quality still feels slightly stiff how it felt in 2020 uh then in the 2023 face cliff that we're driving right now it still feels uh, stiff but that bone jarring effect effect it wasn't bone jarring the bone jarring effect has gone it has become a bit supple and uh, we are really appreciating because low to medium speeds the car is very rock stable and uh, you can go over bad roads also quite quickly uh, small undulations are really well in control um, and the high speed uh, also is good enough stability is actually quite good at top speed and uh, somewhere between 120 and 140 as well the, uh, the stability is quite good uh, thirdly uh, I appreciate the IMT, I appreciate the features, I appreciate the refinement of the cabin, road noise, wind noise, engine noise, everything is in well in kept, you know, well kept uh, in check. Practicality of the cabin is quite high, the quality is quite high, the IMT pricing is also, I think, quite good. There is no denying, uh, there is a lot of on offer with the IMT, but there are still, it does, still doesn't get the absolute top end where you get ADAS and certain other features which is missing on the IMT which is only reserved for I think the manual now and the automatic after the manual's inclusion which happened last week in the month of January 2024. Uh, I think that's it. That's what the Kia Seltos diesel IMT is all about. My automatic review is already live. You can check that out. We'll try and get our hands on the diesel manual whenever we can. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Follow us on our website for everyday updates. Follow us on YouTube. Subscribe, please, for, uh, you know, getting these videos. Uh, we are trying our best to get you the best possible information on offer. And uh, until then, goodbye.